Hey, uh, I'm Justin. I'm Brian. I'm Abdul. And this is the Watch Tip Base. The Watch Tip Base has a pretty long history. It started in the 1900s and it was pretty popular with the African American community. It was relatively inexpensive to make and it's comprised of relatively simple pieces. You've got a wash tub, a string, and some sort of stick. Um, kind of the, the driving force behind this was its affordability. Um, even now today, we picked this up for five bucks for the wash tub, just a couple dollars for the string, and this rake was like a buck or two. So it really isn't that expensive to make, which was part of what drew it. Sometimes they use, uh, like this is, it's just a coat hanging wire, um, but string rope is often used because it's cheap and easy to get your hands on. This was adopted by more than just the African American community though. It later became popular with more of the folky kind of, more down south kind of bands. Um, it got a blues kind of drive going to it. And it was often played alongside um, other instruments like a washboard used as a percussion instrument as well. And so as time goes on, um, we see it kind of gaining popularity with that crowd. It kind of died out. Um, it was most popular in the 60s and from there it kind of has left the scene. Essentially what we have going on here is uh, we need a lever to adjust the pitch. We need a clothesline. At first, what we decided to do was uh, to go with this instrument. Um, we decided to clip the hole right in the center of the washboard. What we did was we tied a knot around one end, as you can see right here, threaded it through, and then tied the other end to this rake, which we use as a lever. There's definitely a right way and a wrong way to play this instrument. Um, as you can see, uh, we use the two handles of the wash tub to stand on and kind of um, keep it in place. We then put the lever on a, uh, a designated area on the base near the edge, just to give it as much resonance as we possibly can. Um, you make the line taut and then you can start to play. And you don't have to um, do anything specific, all you have to do is just kind of plug it while keeping the tension taut. Um, if you are playing it in a different way, like say you put the uh, the lever in a different area, it's not going to work as well because it's not resonating. It's not resonating with the wash tub and you're just hearing the, um, the vibration of the string. Uh, that's kind of why we have to put it in this area. The reason for this is as the uh, string is taut, it allows the wave to travel from the point that you pluck it at directly into the resonating chamber which then amplifies the entire sound. We have the chance to live the experience in creating an, an instrument, which is pretty simple. So basically, as the materials were introduced and the instrument was introduced by the group mates, uh, we have ex uh, we have the chance to experience uh, how we created this instrument and what we learned from creating it by. Uh, by thinking about if we change things of those materials and what we're gonna get from that change, uh, we had to we have the learned in class uh, how the materials would change the sound of a specific instrument uh, by learning how would the length of the string and the the how how long the stick is. Uh, and how those would change the sound that was produced by the is produced by this instrument. Uh, we thought about uh, making the stick longer. What would do to the instrument? So it's basically would uh, change the the pitch, and we're gonna get a higher pitch, a lower pitch. So also from changing uh, uh, from getting a longer stick, it's gonna be. Uh, the wave is gonna travel, but the the wave itself would be longer or has a, a longer wave length. And also the the wash base itself, the size of it or the scale of it would would uh, would change the pitch. The bigger it is, the lower pitch we are getting. Uh, things of the same uh, the scale itself and. If we drill different holes in different places, would also make a difference to 